Qigong is the art of harnessing energy around us to keep ourselves in a good state of health and well-being. So a lot of people around the world are using Qigong and it is used as a form of self-healing too. And a lot of medical fraternities are using Qigong to help the patients as an alternative therapy. So if you look at Qigong as a form of sport or exercise, it is almost akin to aerobics, swimming, or even brisk walking. In Qigong, the critical part of it is all in the breathing. In the Qigong that we practice, there are essentially four types of breathing method. We have what we call the normal breathing, which we call Fu, which we breathe in through the nose, nose in, nose out. And then we have the Tu. The Tu in Mandarin means to warm it. You breathe in through the nose and you exhale through the mouth. And when you exhale, you make a loud sound like <sighs> Then we have the P. The P is you breathe in through the nose. You also exhale through the nose, but in a harsher form. When you exhale, you make it almost like a sneeze-like kind of effect. So you breathe in and you breathe out. So that's the P method. Then we have the final method, which we call the Chui. The Chui method is almost like when you're blowing off a candle, but very slowly. You pout your mouth and make a little hole and you blow slowly from it. So breathing in through the nose and exhaling from the mouth by the Chui method is something like this. So in all our Qigong practice, we use a combination of these four different breathing methods. But in particular, the wellness medical Qigong that we practice have a total of 15 steps. The 15 steps covers from the head to the neck, the spine, right down to the feet. So every single part of the body is exercised physically, but the internal organs also get an opportunity to be exercised. And when one finishes the whole 15 steps within a 30 minute period, one can actually feel rejuvenated and recharged and you can be rest assured you'll be much much more healthier and happier 